Hello, this is Fallout 2 from 1998. Uh, one year and 19 days after the original Fallout. Also published by Interplay, but now developed by Black Isle. Who are now defunct. <laughs> Something that happens to a lot of these uh, narrative role-playing game studios. You'll also notice, if you're very familiar with this, Louis Armstrong isn't singing right now if you're watching the main video. If you want that, there's a mirror to a video that has it, listed down in the pinned comment and or description during the fun little intro and whatnot. It'll probably be the same song that I used uh, in the Fallout 1 mirror. Last time, um, when we did Fallout 1, uh, I did the whole mirror thing because I wanted to keep the original version. But, you know, on occasion, these copyright songs, they get blocked depending on what country you're in, and sometimes it blocks the whole video. But then I realized <laughs> now, with this, maybe I shouldn't make it to where that the unlisted video is the one that's less likely to be blocked. <laughs> So, in case that affects the video's visibility in, uh, depending on what country you're in, anywhere, uh, the unlisted one will have the, the singing. Alright, the Gek. Now, I've never played Fallout 2, and I've never watched anyone play Fallout 2 either. This is my first time. I'm vaguely familiar with Fallout 2, though. Like, the goings-on, the villains. I don't actually know very many plot beats except for, like, the big finish. Right? And the opening. So, hey. Kind of a fun thing to look forward to. I want to say that the Fallout TV show, what we're about to see here, it alluded to this scene in one of their teasers with this whole vault opening sequence. We've also got a couple mods installed. I took notes, as always, for the first video here. We've got Esfal and Kill AP's Fallout Restoration Project. The former of which came baked in with this version, the Steam version of Fallout 2. Man. <laughs> I will shut up now for this. War. War never changes. The end of the world occurred pretty much as we had predicted. Too many humans, not enough space or resources to go around. The details are trivial and pointless. The reasons, as always, purely human ones. The Earth was nearly wiped clean of life. A great cleansing. An atomic spark struck by human hands quickly raged out of control. Spears of nuclear fire rained from the skies. Continents were swallowed in flames and fell beneath the boiling oceans. Humanity was almost extinguished, their spirits becoming part of the background radiation that blanketed the Earth. A quiet darkness fell across the planet, lasting many years. Few survived the devastation. Some had been fortunate enough to reach safety, taking shelter in great underground vaults. When the great darkness passed, these vaults opened, and their inhabitants emerged to begin their lives again. One of the northern tribes claims they are descended from one such vault. They hold that their founder and ancestor, one known as the Vault Dweller, once saved the world from a great evil. According to their legend, this evil arose in the far south. It corrupted all it touched, twisting men inside, turning them into beasts. Only through the bravery of this vault dweller was the evil destroyed. But in so doing, he lost many of his friends and suffered greatly, sacrificing much of himself to save the world. When at last he returned to the home he had fought so hard to protect, he was cast out, exiled. In confronting that which they feared, he had become something else in their eyes, 
and no longer their champion. Forsaken by his people, he strode into the wasteland. He traveled far to the north until he came to the great canyons. There he founded a small village, mm. Arroyo, where he lived out the rest of his years. And so for a generation since its founding, Arroyo has lived in peace, its canyons sheltering it from the outside world. It is home, your home. Right. But the scars left by the war have not yet healed, and the earth has not forgotten. All right. And yeah, as you can see here, we've got Esfal, uh, which, as far as I know, isn't nearly as important as the other one. Let me see here. The Fallout 2 Restoration Project. And there were two versions. Uh, no matter which way you cut it, it's come highly recommended by a lot of different folks all over the place. Uh, what it does, the Restoration Project, uh, it's fairly self-explanatory in the name, but there was a lot of cut content or unfinished things in addition to, like, you know, the usual fare, occasional bugs and um, compatibility issues with newer systems and whatnot for the original game. And the Restoration Project fixes those problems, but also adds back in and in some cases fully recreates and attempts to recreate the cut content, right? And does it, as far as I understand, like, in a fairly faithful way, right? I'm not sure if it's, like, like, the recreated stuff is, like, precisely canon or whatever. I, I have no idea. But so many people have recommended it that it seems almost like a shame to go without it. Anyway, we've got both of those. And the version that we're using is the older version, which is Kill App, or Kill AP's uh, version from, like, I don't know, from the recording of this video, like, 13, 14 years old now, since its last update. Um, but there is a newer version as well that has some other changes, right? And it, it seems like there's two different schools of thought as to which one you go with. Um, I've seen people say like, oh yeah, the original one was feature complete and everything, right? And other people are like, uh, I like the new stuff. Oh, whoops. I like the new stuff added in by the newer updated version, right? So we're going with the older one because I tend to err on that side of things when it comes to mods. Um, frankly, I'm not a big mod person <laughs> in any regard. Um, I have, I tend to have like minimal interest in like learning about mods and all of that and even less know-how when it comes to installing them. It was very terrifying to download a .exe off of the internet, especially off of the kill, kill app site and just run it. <laughs> it was very, it was a risky click, but we'll see if it paid off. Um, let's see. Anything else here in my notes? No, I don't think so. All right, here, let's quickly go over the options so you can see what we're doing. As per our encounters with Fallout 1, uh, there'll also be, of course, a link to our past playthrough of Fallout 1. Um... We are on game difficulty hard with combat difficulty on rough. As far as I know, Fallout 2 has a much harder start than Fallout 1, but also runs into a similar problem, if you want to call it that, as Fallout uh, 1, where, and, and frankly, <laughs> seemingly every Fallout game, right? Where you j it, the difficulty just falls off at the more you play, right? Seems to be the, the case with maybe maybe not even just every Fallout game, but the vast majority of role-playing games, right? Unless it's expressly an action role-playing game where the, the mechanics and everything are at the focus, uh, usually difficulty becomes a non-issue the deeper you get in, right? Anyway, here's all of our uh, settings and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Can, we can look at our screen settings if you wish. There we go. Good, good, good. Oh, Shazbot. Okay. All right. Here. Let's go with new game. And as per usual with all of our videos on the channel, uh, the first few videos will be a little bit more on the shorter side. Anyway, 
We've got these here, these pre-made characters, just as we had in the original Fallout, right? We've got Narg, who is seems to be really into doing melee. Mingan, who seems to be really into being kind of sneaky. And Chitsa, who actually, of the three of our pre-generated protagonists, has eyebrows. And also sex appeal and specialization trait of one-hander, <laughs> amazingly enough, right? 1998. <laughs> All right, but we're not taking any of these, right? We are creating our own, of course. Now, in our original, we had a separate character creation video where we read through all of this, right? All of the flavor text. But to my, as far as I know, right, to the best of my understanding, all of the flavor text and information here is identical to the first game, right? Like I said, this is simply a year and 19 days launched a year and 19 days after the original game, right? And for very similar reasons, got to try and max out our age, which caps out at 35. So no matter what, you can't be like um, terribly old. <laughs> at best, you're like entering middle-aged. Uh, let's see here. Now, I've also written down a character build that I have kind of tweaked for my own means. Hopefully I haven't messed it up too bad. Let's see here. And then... I want this. Endurance at 9. 5 strength. 6 perception. 9 endurance. 1 charisma, which is quite similar to what we did in Fallout 1. However, here a big difference. We're keeping int at only 5. Which I believe the first time around we really cranked it up. Maybe to like 8 or even capped out. And here, I want agility at 9, because action points are just incredible to have. And only 5 luck. We're keeping it at 5. However, for our traits, I want to go with a very different weapon build than we did last time. In Fallout 1, we had a high luck, high crit chance, and crit damage build, right? We even ended up getting the, uh, the, the LE Red Rider BB gun which was just, like, completely perfect for that build, right? This time around, though, I want heavy weapons, which evidently benefit from burst fire and not using normal vats. So we're going to take fast shot, um, which removes our ability to go into vats for targeted attacks, right? So we got our taste of using vats in Fallout 1, you know, slowing people down by shooting their legs, and towards the end of the game, for the most part, mostly just going for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. <laughs> and uh, the head, of course. Right? Great for doing crits, but evidently not what we want if we want to try and uh, mess around with heavy weapons. And also, gifted, which just seems really incredible. Right? Sure, it sucks to receive five less skill points per level. That is pretty unfortunate. But um, as far as I know... That won't be too bad, right? Of course, it, it does crank up all of our special over here by one, right? Now, also, I remember in Fallout 1, which I want to say has a lower level cap than this game, uh, we ended up capping out our, our uh, skills quite handily and quite quickly thanks to finding a bunch of skill books and also... Uh, making good use of tags. So I want to tag big guns, of course. I want to use big guns. And... We'll also get a couple utility things that I want. Lockpick. And steal, because I personally just love stealing. Uh, some people would recommend get something like speech or whatever. But me? I kind of like being bad at speech in games. On occasion, I like failing, actively failing at speech. So, I don't mind having it too low, right? And just as well, our character has low charisma, so it thematically makes sense to me, right? What other options we got here? Oh. 
Oh, I could have just saved the, the, the unit here. Okay. Uh, what should I... I'll just say, use my name here. Here we go. And done. Oh, we get another... Come in, chosen one. Oh, and we already get our title. There are things <laughs> you must know. Damn, the look at her big bong. Dying. The signs are everywhere. Withering crops. Yeah, there's poop Dying in here. Ramen. Or was it mute fruit? <laughs> Who can tell, frankly? Sick children. There is hope, however. A slim hope. That few know of. The old discs speak of an item called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. The old discs. It is said it can bring life to the wasteland. Now this is like when we got to see the water chip rotating around. This will be your quest if you prove yourself worthy. For that proof, you must first journey to the Temple of Trials. If you survive, come back to me. We will talk more. Our life is in your hands, Chosen One. Prove yourself. Find the Gek. Be our salvation. Okay. Oh. Alright. Well, should we do a save right here? Just uh, for good measure? I think so. How about we put it at uh, Lucky Seven? Why not? Hello, world. There we go. Good. Now, let's see if I even remember how to play. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming the controls are remarkably similar to the first game. Okay. Let's see. Do I remember how to walk? Oh, yeah. We got it. And look. I can hold down shift and I can see these... This little rock over here highlighted. Who is this? You see Clint, a fellow tribesman. Let's have a inspect go. You see a young man with bulging muscles and a very confident air about him. He looks unhurt. Wow, okay. He's bulging big time. Skull pole. A pole with human skulls attached. Oh, jeez. Okay. Can we inspect this wild-looking building? Fire pit. Nothing out of the ordinary. Temple. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Sure. What's up, Clint? Oh. Okay. Good day to you, Lyle Schnub. You have not completed the trial of the Elder and may not pass. I need to go back to the village. I have some questions for you. Alright, I'm off to take the test. Uh, sure, I have questions for you. Why not? Forgive me. But I have no answers to your questions. Take the trial set before you by the Elder and prove yourself worthy to lead our people. Very well. Okay. What is this? Oh. Is that what that said when I looked at it? <laughs> you are running Killapp's unofficial F2 patch. Version 1.02.31, English Language Edition. Thanks for installing. You're welcome. Yeah, that's it. What What is this? <laughs> okay, let's see. Do I remember how to quick save? It's Q here, right? Oh, no, I'm thinking of Baldur's Gate. Oh, God. Okay. Nope. Okay. That's load. There we go. Okay. And then quick save. We'll just make it... One? Uh, let's see. My quick save slot. Okay, cool. So, can I pick it up? I cannot get there. Alright, fair enough. Let's see. I think our UI looks slightly different as well, but I'm not sure. Okay. Oh. I have that? I have this weapon? Yeah, spear. Okay. Better equip that. Or should I? Yeah, our damage, like, triples at least. Minimum of tripling. Okay. Let's see if I remember how to do these. Oh god. 
Oh god. Okay. And combat. Right. Oh dear god. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're we're cleaning off the rust. We're cleaning off the rust. Okay. There we go. Quick save on F6. If I just walk in, do we oh. Oh, okay. What have we got here? Giant ant. You see nothing out of the ordinary? Man, I miss our awareness already. We may have to get it early on, I don't know. Okay, well. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start rumbling in the jungle, baby. Let's fight some ants. Okay. Target out of range. Oh, shit, spot. Okay. Am I in range now? 38%. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh god, I should have stayed there. What a fool I am. Oh yeah. Ant struck. Giant ant was hit for nine hit points and was killed. He looks dead. Okay, cool. I love it. Okay, you know what? I'm actually just gonna hold up right here. End my turn. Perfect. Okay. Oh my god, beautiful! Ants have been slain. Can't I press spacebar? Yeah, ends combat. For being victorious in combat, you gain 50 experience points. Cool. Can I take anything off these, like, felled ants? No, I don't think so. Yeah, they have no lootable lootables. Oh, man. It's kind of cool getting back into it, though, I gotta say. Oh, my gosh. Stone bench. Can I examine it further? Man, I miss awareness and getting, like, extra details, right? Wasn't that it? Just having, like, a wealth of, of brand new information and all that? Okay. Oh my gosh. Scorpion already? Oh, it's a small mutated one. It hasn't become radical yet. <laughs> it hasn't been radicalized yet. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Good. How about this? Door. A door with an intricate lock. Okay. I've unlocked it. There we are. What am I even in here for? You aren't wearing the pit boy Oh god, what is this down here then? Am I hallucinating it? <laughs> okay. Scorpion on the approach. Good. I begin thrusting upon the scorpion. Uh-oh. Another thrust. Okay. It's severely wounded. Excellent. We're going to retreat. Oh my gosh, I have more capabilities of attacking. I can go twice? Oh my gosh, it's way harder to hit now. Ooh. Don't strike upon me! Oh, I was hit for five! Okay. Oh god. Okay, if I end turn... Oh no, it can go again! I'm poisoned! Oh dear lord. Oh my god, okay. Scorpion tail. Anything, any new information? A severed tail of a rad scorpion. Wait, it was a rad scorpion. Wow, there's a take all button. Oh, was that there before? Okay. For crushing your enemies, you gain 60 XP. Okay. Can I heal myself any? I feel a bit better. Okay. Let's see. Three, five is first aid. We have a 6% chance to first aid. Why not? Are we on a timer or anything? I don't think we are. We'll try to do three in a row. Okay. No dice. We'll continue. Oh, shit. There was another scorpion in here. It used a camouflage-like ability. Okay. Okay. Let's approach. Oh, yeah. Almost dead. 
Okay. I will flee this direction. Oh, shit. Okay. It's time to strike back. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, swap weapon. Can I strong kick or... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I'm going to run again. I'm scared. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. We've been spared. 34%. Come on, XCOM. Yes! Alright. Good. Now, what have you got? Another tail. Okay. What is our carry capacity? Uh, we have 175. Okay. Sure. I'll take it. Anything else over here? Alright. And I did glance at a list of the heavy weapons, or heavy guns, big guns or whatever, that are in the game. And six is the lowest for entry-level ones, right? And I presume that because this is a Fallout game, we will gain access to power armor, which will bolster our strength to use the more heavy-duty, heavy big guns. What is this? Oh, okay. Sure. Well, which direction should we go here? Should we, like, skirt down here and take out more bugs? Or should we play it safe? Hmm. I feel like maybe we just roll in. You know? Can I... Can I rest? I, I don't remember. Can, can you rest in this game? <laughs> I don't remember if I'm capable of resting to restore my health. Uh-oh. Here comes the ant. Alright. It's fine. Oh shit, but there are two. Okay. Oh, we're fine. Can I even strike it from here? Yeah. Oh, hell. Okay. Ugh. Hit me for five. The other ant, however, is not interested. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, again. There we go. Great. So am I non-combat with this ant up here? No, I'm not. Okay. We must tread carefully here. Oh god, it's already so close! It hit me for one. Okay. So if I end my turn, do I get another one? Oh yeah, great. Oh yeah, listen to it. Scream. You know, like how ants do. Oh! <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Right. Ants never have loot. We're saving again. Good. Oh my gosh. I was able to actually heal that time. I got the roll. Okay. Well, I didn't that time. Oh dear lord. <laughs> this is This is terrifying. Okay, we'll try to do... Because I accidentally did doctoring. Okay. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Are there going to be stim packs in here or anything? <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just roll up on it. Oh, yeah! Okay. And... Again. Oh, fuck. Oh, dear! <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to rotate myself, because that does have bearing on our hit chance, right? Which direction you're facing. Oh, fuck. That's so bad. Okay. <laughs> rotate again. Oh, steal yourself! Okay. Oh, yes! Alright, the ant has been slain. Great. Are there more? Oh, there's another one in here? Oh, no, I did. Okay. Cool. So what is this? A pot. 
I've searched the pot. Healing powder? Oh, yeah, dude. Great. Yeah, I don't remember how we rested in the first game. I see floor depression. Nothing out of the ordinary. How about this? Wall? Nothing out of the ordinary. Can I examine the pot? A finely crafted clay pot. Oh yeah, wasn't it like on the map? No. Character? Huh. Dude, I don't know if you can. How do you rest? Couldn't we rest? Oh god, maybe you can't. Maybe I'm misremembering it. Is there help? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoops. We're on our own. Okay, let's do another quick save. Should we just pop the healing powder or what? How much is it going to heal us for, I wonder? A very powerful healing magic. Through it, though it will bring the feeling of sleep to your head. Oh, no. Okay. I guess it has a detriment. Should we search through over here? Yeah, there's bones we can loot. Maybe a good item in there. Alright. God. Some hellish fiend chittering at me. Okay. What's turned yellow? Okay. Good. Wow, there are two more in here? Jesus, man. Okay. Yes! Do I get another turn? Yes, please. Come on. Oh, hell no. Okay. I'm evading. Oh, yes. Okay, it was worth it. Oh, yes. No damage taken. Okay. End our turn. Let's take its tail. Another quick save. Okay. Let's see. Should we try, like, sneaking? What's our sneak capability? 15. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. We're not terribly good at it, are we? Well, on the bright side, I think we only aggroed one. Oh, no. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we got more than one. Oh, yes. Wow. Who cares, dude? We're the Scorpion Slaughterer, dude. Okay. Another one. Look, I even do, like, a kick maneuver. Uh-oh. Oh! Holy crap. Deftly avoided. Yes! Excellent. Wow, I didn't think we would do it. Okay. Good. How have we not died? I haven't even drank the potion or used the... the... the healing juice. So what is this place? Is this like a... a re-formatted vault or something? Okay, let's check the bones. Human bones? Oh, hopefully that means something real nice. Oh shit, it's only a spear. <laughs> okay, well, on the bright side though, now we have a thrown weapon. What's our ability to throw, I wonder? Character, throwing, hey, 30, okay, all right, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, is there anything hidden in here? I forget, is there a way to, to check or do I have to like manually check? <laughs> I think you have to manually check, right? There's no like highlight everything. All right, well, holy crap. Let's enter the next room. I don't know how many there will be. Oh, it's locked. What? Okay. Am I supposed to pick it? Oh, okay. I picked it. 
Wow, what if you can't lockpick? Is there a key somewhere? Alright. Wow. Looking pretty freaking huge. Look. Looks like a boss door or something. <laughs> oh, God. Ew, what's going on down here? A chasm? Yeah. Wow. Alright. Man, I would love to see a place like this in the newer Fallouts, right? There wasn't ever, like, a... A facility quite like this. There was definitely tribal stuff in the um, the Zion Park stuff in Fallout New Vegas, but nothing quite like this, you know? All right. Well, like I said, the first few of these Fallout videos, as per um, the vast majority of our video playthroughs, will be a little bit uh, on the shorter side, right? So, hey, if you'd like to join us for more, I'll see you then in the next one. And just in the event that you haven't seen our original playthrough, hey, there's a fun treat for you. There's uh, all of Fallout 1. It was quite the fun uh, surprise. It was, uh, it aged even better than I thought it would have, right? Here's to Fallout 2. Until next time, please take care of each other.